تشرفنا اليوم بحضورها المتميز خصيصا من الولايات المتحده الامريكيه الدكتوره لاكيشا ماثيوز رئيسه الهيئه القوميه الامريكيه للتطوير المهني تحدثنا عن مجال التطوير المهني وتطبيقاته في مختلف بلدان العالم رحبوا بها Good morning. I am so happy to be here today to greet you all for the first Arab Career Development Conference. Give yourselves a round of applause. I bring you greetings from the National Career Development Association, where I have the wonderful pleasure of serving as president. And we are here to celebrate with you we are sponsoring your conference, and we are so happy for this moment. I want to just greet all of the dignitaries here today. I want to greet the Growat Association. I want to greet all of you who are doing such wonderful work with children, with professionals in your country. If you aren't familiar with the National Career Development Association, or NCDA, as we like to call it, our job is to empower professionals like you so you can empower children and job seekers who are seeking to take care of their families and to build their community. And our goal, like yours and like the speakers before me, is to make sure that we are sharing best practices globally. So as the president of NCDA, my theme this year is career development around the world, making connections and increasing access to impact the global labor market. I am so excited because like you are here today talking and learning from each other, we will do the same thing in Chicago, Illinois and the United States in June. I welcome you all to the NCDA conference if you are able to make it so we can continue these conversations. In addition, I am so happy to share some of the strategies that the National Career Development Association is taking on to ensure that professionals like you and professionals like me are empowered to do the work that needs to be done in our communities. I work in a town called Baltimore City. It's in a state called Maryland, right outside of DC. If you've heard of the White House and where the president of the US is, my town is very close to that area. And we have some challenges in my city of Baltimore. And I work at the University of Baltimore. And I'm a member of NCDA. And I come to events like this so that I can go back and share strategies with people in my town who are doing this work, with my students who are trying to make their lives better. So some of the things that NCDA is doing right now that may interest you, first and foremost, we provide a curriculum. It is called the FCD, or Facilitating Career Development Curriculum. As a matter of fact, there are several trainers in the Egypt and MENA region who are using this curriculum to empower professionals like you. But I'm excited to announce today that because of a contract with a major Saudi Arabia university, we will be translating that curriculum into Arabic. Go ahead and clap. <laughs> Some of you have called me over the last year and you've said, Dr. Matthews, we need this curriculum in Arabic so that we can train more people in the MENA region. And I am so excited that over the next year, that will happen. The curriculum will be delivered in Arabic for all of those who would like to be trained as FCD instructors and FCD students. 
I'm also happy to announce that the Asia Pacific region, much like yourselves, are also making waves in the career development space. And we will be going to Taiwan in May. And our colleagues in Singapore and China are offering the FCD curriculum and talking to their government as well about making sure that career development is at the top of the list and making sure that career professionals are empowered. And then NCDA also makes sure that we stay connected globally. And we have a wonderful Global Connections Committee. And the leader of that committee, Ahmad Mustafa, is here in the back of the room. Would you give Ahmad Mustafa a round of applause? It is because of Ahmad that I am here. It is because of Ahmad's advocacy that I chose my theme. So you are very fortunate to have professionals in the MENA region who are coming to the United States and telling us about career development in the MENA region so that we can partner, so that we can learn from each other. Some of my goals as president, at the NCDA conference this year in Chicago, we will bring back our international conference. So those of you who do travel over to the conference will have a time to network, will have a time to share, and you better believe we will be showing pictures and talking about what is happening here today in the MENA region. We have also expanded what we call our BIPOC scholarships. Many of you may know that in America, brown and black people don't have all of the same opportunities opportunities that everyone else has. And because of that, we want to make sure that not only brown and black peoples in America, but our international partners have access to our conference. We have opened up our scholarships to international professionals. You can apply for a scholarship to come to our conference and get financial assistance. In addition, we are actually exploring more ways where we can have regional or country affiliates that can be connected to NCDA for greater sharing, greater learning between our countries. We are delivering diversity, equity, and inclus inclusive content. We launched a podcast this year, and my presidential series is about what we call diversity, equity, and inclusion, which the speakers before me talk so eloquently about. And I am so proud that at our conference, we will host a diversity symposium so that we can dive into the areas of equity and equality in the United States and in other countries and talk about what we can do as career professionals to bring about access for all people in our countries and for all career development professionals. We're so happy because we're growing in NCDA and 14% of our membership are international members. And the, the, the countries with the most memberships are here listed before you. And as you can see, Egypt is on that list. We are so happy to have you a part of our organization as well as all of our members across the world. We're also happy that our podcast is not just listened to in the United States, but we're talking about topics that apply to all career professionals. If you listen to a podcast, please, please join us. We have countries, as you can see, from all over the world listening in to the NCDA podcast, which is called Career Practitioner Conversations. And in my last few moments, I'd like to really just reiterate some of the things that had, have already been said. That we have a lot in common, and because we have a lot in common, we have a lot of shared goals and some shared challenges as career practitioners across the globe. One of those is the global labor market. There are structural shifts taking place some of your speakers have already talked about that. And it's not just in the MENA region, it is around the world. And according to the World Employment Confederation, those structural shifts include technological change, the shifting labor demographics, changing employee expectations, diversification of forms of work, business models being, are being redefined in very complex environments, and a changing demand for skills. A second challenge is the impact of COVID-19 on all of us and the workplace and the impact it's had on those that we serve. Because of the pandemic, there's uncertainty, there's validity going on, a volatile atmosphere in the labor market according to the conference board. And our, shared, our other shared challenge is equity and equality, a major passion of mine. And According to the conference board, we still have countries 
that are recovering from COVID-19 and don't have access to the same resources as other countries. And out of all of the persons impacted by COVID-19, we have found that there's a disproportionate impact on women's employment. I heard you talking about that in your talks, but it's not just in the MENA region. Women's employment across the globe was greatly impacted by COVID-19. Women are behind in wages and compensation that we earn for the work that we do. Women are behind in access to advancement in the workplace for the work that we do. So we have major work to do as career professionals because we have some shared challenges that we need to continue to work on in all of our countries and across the globe. And that's why events like today are so important. We did a Harris poll in 2021. It's a poll we do every few years as the National Career Development Association. And we not only found some challenges, but we found some silver linings and some possibilities. The one thing that we learned is that in our profession, it's very important that we continue to market our services in who we are, so that our government understands career development, so that our children understand career development, so that our college students understand career development. We also found that it's very important for those of us who do this work to engage in advocacy and public policy and social justice, that we not be content until everyone has access to career development across the globe. We also found that our opportunity is to create intentional and systematic dissemination of career development and labor market data so that our students, that our job seekers can access the labor market and the opportunities where the doors are open for them to walk into. And we've also found that career services professionals must be more precise in our language when we talk about career services. How can people understand, job seekers, students, college students, understand what career development is if we are not all using a universal language to talk about the great work that we do? So those are our opportunities. I believe in a few days we'll talk about the SDGs as well, or the UN's Sustainable Development Goals. I just want to point your attention to these goals. If you've not had a chance to look them up, please do. They're part of the United Nations Strategic Plan. And there are 17 of these goals, as you can see. And as I was reviewing these goals, and we also have a talk about these goals on the NCDA podcast, I looked at them and I starred the ones that intersect with our work as career professionals. No poverty, good health and well-being, quality education, gender equality, decent work and economic growth, industry, innovation and infrastructure, reduced inequality, sustainable cities. As I looked at peace, justice, strong institutions and partnerships, I saw that career development touches all of these areas that the United Nations says that we need to have sustainable communities, sustainable cities, sustainable countries. Our work, the work that we do, will undergird all of these goals of the United Nations. So I challenge you today to join NCDA. We are committed to access for career development professionals like you. We are committed to equipping you for the work that you do. We're committed to working with our government to advocate for access to all, to advocate for career development for all, to advocate for career readiness standards. And I ask that you think about your individual commitment today, your individual commitment to advocate for access to career development for all, your individual commitment to remember that we don't send our clients, we don't send our students into a perfect world. So we must prepare them for the world that they will go out and face. To continue to build your credibility, to continue to build your competency-based credentials in this great work that we do so that you can operate fully within the scope of services that you or your organization chooses to offer. And that we will all commit to share ideas, to share resources around the globe to enhance the services to our communities, to our students, to our job seekers. Thank you for having me here today. Your hospitality has been greatly appreciated. Thank you, Dr. Lakisha. 
آه علشان آه الكلام الكويس قوي اللي دكتور لاكيشا ماثيوز قالت له آه باسم الهيئه القوميه آه للتطوير المهني بالولايات المتحده الامريكيه خلينا ندي بريف بسيط آه على الانجازات اللي هي قالتها وذكرتها الان سي دي اي هي اقدم مدرسه آه في مجال التطوير المهني في العالم كله وعلى مدار السنين اللي فاتت ترأسها آه ناس خبراء جدا وقادرين وللامانه كان العلم بتاعهم هو ركيزه اساسيه يقدروا ينموا بيها مجتمعات كتيره ويدربوا ناس كتيره. الجديد في الامر ان كان في رغبه ملحه وطلب مستمر من العرب والمصريين من ان سي دي ايه علشان يبقى عندنا دايما مقرر باللغه العربيه. يا جماعة احنا عايزين نتدرب باللغة العربية احنا ليه بس بندرس انجليزي ايوه الانجليزي ده بتاعكم احنا عايزين احنا كمان نتدرب فانتي دي ايه مع المملكة العربية السعودية اه مضوا مؤخرا بروتوكول علشان يتم تعريب المناهج ويتم تدريب العرب والمصريين اه او كل كل العرب في الدول العربية كلها في المينا ريجن اه باللغة العربية فده كان ده كان ده انجاز في حد ذاته احنا كنا منتظرين ده بقالنا سنين طويلة من ضمن الـ 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 الانجازات ل ان سي دي اي مؤخرا ان هم عملوا بودكاست علشان يبقى فيه دايما تواصل وفي كوميونيكيشن ما بين كل من هو مهتم بمجال التطوير المهني وطبعا هي كانت شرحت على البرزنتيشن بتاعتها الدول المشاركه او اللي بيتم البودكاست او نقول عليه الارسال عبر الاثير تمام فده برضو من ضمن الانج... <تصفيق> ده من ضمن انجازات ان سي دي اي برضه مؤخرا بنشكر دكتور لاكيشا ماثيوز مره ثانيه على وجودها معنا وعلى الانجازات ان سي دي اي واحنا فخورين جدا بالتعامل مع ان سي دي اي زي ما احنا كنا دايما كتف بكتف في السنين اللي فاتت معاهم ان شاء الله مستمرين في انجازات وتحقيق احلام ثانيه